to understand parasites, you need to understand their hosts and their molecular makeup and their structure and where they are in the environment. And, and what that means is we have to get people from a whole range of different scientific fields together. So what the BSP does is it allows that opportunity. We bring together such a diverse range of scientists from all sorts of backgrounds looking at fundamental genetics right down at that level all the way up to whole organisms and looking at the interactions between lots of different creatures and their parasites. We had a talk this morning about developing drugs for tuberculosis. TB is not a parasite but it showed the sort of approach that could be taken to actually developing a drug for parasites. So it's a matter of crossing over between different diseases, learning from other diseases, and maybe they will learn from what we've been doing as well. Here, particularly with the large number of poster presentations, you get to see a lot of science as it's evolving, and you can start to see the leading edge technology in its application. Have my postgraduates, my postdoctoral researchers, come and present their findings and make their mark. For many young people who do research in parasitology, coming to the BSP, it might be their first scientific meeting, it might be their first opportunity to give a talk or present a poster on their data. So in this case it's good that I've got a chance to come along and speak at a conference where there are obviously big names in my field that will be able to listen. BSP events are really great for students. Um, they help you network with people, they help you uh, see new ideas and for me personally it's to uh, learn about new, new types of techniques and new methods that I haven't thought of and I can see how I can possibly apply them to my research. Events like this are important because you can get information from papers but really discussing with the scientists and getting their perspective, their understanding, um, allows just so much more effective and memorable information transfer. Um, and the networking opportunities are tremendous. It's a great place to, to network with everyone from PhD students, postdocs, up to professorial level and, uh, and it's, it's a great place to talk about science. Yeah, we came from Germany, from Heidelberg University, because we heard from this meeting from a lot of other colleagues that it's great and also from our graduate students. Many of the parasites we work on um, affect people across the world, they don't just affect people in this country, so I think having that international aspect is, is really important. I think the first day I came here, I discovered an opportunity to do collaboration with some uh, participants. So far I have about two or three participants from other countries that are willing to work with me. I'm on, uh, working on Lishmina since 25 years. I have come 10 times to BSP and then I have met some people with whom I could um, uh, develop new, new collaborations. It's opening up a whole new category of areas for scientists, not just parasites, but other pathogens, new techniques and uh, other areas of interest. I think one of the exciting things is actually how people are turning to, to parasitology and parasitologists um, as they move into what we call global health and disease control. The information that we're providing both at the molecular level and also in terms of parasite populations is now being used more and more by international organisations that want to control infectious diseases. The next 10 years we'll see uh, tremendous uh, advances in understanding parasites um, and there's some really critical questions that we have to address both in terms of trying to control or potentially eradicate human disease but also in terms of parasites in the environment in these days of global environmental change.